Yeah. Uh, Charles Oliveira versus Benil Darius. Uh, first round KO. Charles Oliveira is so fucking fun to watch. Dangerous on the feet. Dangerous on the ground. Pulled guard. I was like, we kind of pulled guard. Kind of went for takedown. Kind of accepted just going to his back. There is very, very, very few people in in this sport that can do that. What the fuck? And get away with it and be okay off of his back. So dangerous off his back. Gets back up to the feet. Head kicks Benio. Fuck. Gets him out of there in the first round. So impressive. Yeah. Fucking. It sucks just with those Russians that he just can't afford to do that. He can't afford, because he literally just pretty much pulled guard against Benil. Mm -hmm. Against those Russians, they're so strong and dominant on top, and they're so good at adv to advancing to half guard. And then you're in fucking trouble. Uh, Benil, Benil did a good job too, but God, Charles, the way he kind of hides those kicks, he doesn't bring them really wide. His like heels close to his butt, and they're snappy at the end. But him to just put away Benil with ease like that. He's so good at mixing. How fuck. Fucking sick was that? Uh, like a DJ? No, like mixing oh. it up, like going from you know. Charles versus and... Islam Makhachev two in Abu Dhabi, a year later. That's kind of what sounds like Dana's planning. We we gotta remember though, it's not like Islam just took Charles down and be, he dropped him. He mm -hmm. dropped him, passed his guard, and choked him. He that was a very dominant performance for Islam. So That's Charles what I'm levels for Charles to come. He seems fired the fuck up, motivated, ready to go. Islam's coming off a very controversial win over Alexander Volkanovsky. Charles coming off a dominating win over Benil Darius. Very interesting fight. That's what I want to see next at 55. I don't really care to see anyone else. I want to see Charles versus Islam too. I almost wouldn't mind seeing, I mean, it's not going to happen obviously, but Poirier because Poirier's fighting uh, Gaethje. I'd almost rather see Poirier get the shot first. He already lost to Islam. Or, hasn't he? What about, what about Volk? No, I don't think. Oh wait, Poirier hasn't fought Islam. Never mind. Oh. Volk actually did the best. Thinking, looking back at it, he Volk's had to... fighting yeah, here in a couple weeks. But then if he puts him away and they're like, "Hey, you want to fight Islam?" It's like, "Fuck." What about God damn? What about it would have been sweet. Charles versus Volk would have been cool. That would have been fucking sweet. What would you even do for preparing Charles for that fight with Islam? Because it's like, do you have him practice his stand up more? Or would you just, just even wrestle go further harder, maybe? on the jujitsu? Because it's like he's already a master. He at can that. outstrike Islam. He you did think? get dropped that fight, but I mean, looking at uh, stylistically, I mean, it's hard to say. Obviously, got dropped last fight. I feel like he could outstrike Islam if he wrestles hard. But pff, who? You it's got, so hard to say. With with uh with that fight, you just especially okay. Try to wrestle harder. Don't be in a hurry to go to your guard. But then when you do go to your guard, just make sure he doesn't settle into half guard yeah he settles into half guard he's might head and arm choke you he's going to be able to pass he's going to be able to beat the fuck out of you and you don't have many options from half guard so maybe just if you do get on your back maintaining your full guard as long as possible 